बसमीम रबी यसर वसर व तमिल मिल है रबीन अस्सलाम वालेकुम होप यू ऑल गुड दिस इज़ द अपडेटेड सेवन्थ एडिशन ऑफ बुक डी थ्री एंड टुडे वी विल डू एक्सरसाइज फिफ्टीन ए एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन टू टेन लेट्स स्टार्ट स्टूडेंट्स नाउ स्टूडेंट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन इफ ए एंड बी एंड सी दीज आर दी सेट्स Prove the associative property of the union of the set. Associative law of uh, union of set is a union B and union C is equal to a union B and union C. This is the associative law of a union of set. Now we have to prove it. First, we take the uh, left hand side. This is left hand side. Left hand side is A union B is union C. First, we find the union of A union B is two, three, four, and union B is three, five, and six. Combining it, we get the two, three, four, five, six. We do not write in the union the value repeat. We do not write three two times. And this is the union of A union B. Now we take the union of A union B with C. A union B is two, three, four, five. Six. Six and value of C is five seven nine. By taking its union, we get two three four five six seven and nine. This is equal to left hand side. Now we have to find the right hand side. Right hand side is A union B union C. B union C. B is three five six, and C is five seven nine. B union C is three five six seven nine. Now we take the uh, union with the A. A union B union C. A is the two, three, and four. This is three, five, six, seven, nine. Now we take the union of it. We get two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Now, students, this is the A union B, and this is the answer. Uh, this is the right hand side now we can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side it means it's proved hence proved a union b union c is equal to a union b and now students uh, this proof because of left hand side is equal to right hand side and the question number 7 is solved now students question number 8 if a b and c these are the set prove the associative property of intersection of set the now students the associative law of intersection of set is a intersection b intersection c is equal to a intersection b intersection c now we have to prove it left hand side is a intersection b intersection c now we have to prove it first b intersection c and b is a p q r s and c is n o p q In the intersection of set, we have to write the common. There is common P and Q, and 
B intersection C we get P and Q. Now A intersection B intersection and A is M and O and intersection with the B intersection C which is PQ and there is nothing any common element in this set and we get the empty set and this is equal to left hand side now students right hand side right hand side is a intersection b intersection c now we first take the intersection of a intersection b and this is m and o intersection b is P, Q, R, S and we get the empty set A intersection B now A intersection B with intersection C this is empty set intersection with N, O, P, Q and we get the empty set and this is the right hand side and left hand side is equal to right hand side and hence proved and now students uh, the question number eight is also solved we have proved that the left hand side is equal to right hand side and this is the associative law of intersection of sets now students question number nine if a b and u these are the set prove the De Morgan's law demonstrate the law using Venn diagram we have to prove that law the De Morgan's law is a union b uh, over complement and a complement intersection b complement this is the De Morgan's law we have to prove it De Morgan's law and this is the left hand side is equal to a union b over complement now first we have to find it a union b a union b is one two three four union three four five six now by combining it we get one two three four five six this is a union b now we have to take the complement of it this is the universal set and we take the difference of u minus v universal set is 1 2 3 4 5 6 minus a union b is 1 2 3 4 5 6 all the elements are present in it that's why the a, a union b complement is empty set this is the empty set now since this is the Venn diagram this is the set 1 and 2 we have to write where in set A there are the element 1 2 3 4 we write there and in set B the elements are 3 4 5 6 we write there and the both elements are present in the universal set that's why it is in the universal set the rectangle is of the universal set when we take the union of it we color it we shade it to specific it specify it that this is a union of a union b now we have to in the next step we have to find the complement of it and by taking the complement in the u there is not any set and one two three four five six and and you, we are not coloring it we color only that part because which elements are present in uh, a union b and uh, are not uh, because because in a union b complement we take those elements which are present in uh, universal set but not in a union b and there is not any elements which are present in the universal set that's why the answer is empty set and this is our left hand side now we do the right hand side
राइट हैंड साइड इज ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट इंटरसेक्शन बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट फर्स्ट वी टेक दी ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट इज एंड वी गेट इट यू माइनस ए वी गेट यूनिवर्सल सेट इज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड ए इज वन टू थ्री फोर A complement is five and six, and B complement. B complement one, two, three, four, five, six, and B is three, four, five, six, and there is the element B complement is one and two. Now we take the intersection of A complement B complement, and we get the A complement is Five and six, and a com b complement is one and two. There is not any common elements, and we get the empty set. And this is equal to right hand side. Now we have to demonstrate it on the Venn diagram, and this is the a. This is the a complement. This is the a complement, and this is the b complement. This is set A and B, and this is a universal set. We see that the elements are one, two. This is three, four, five, six. In A complement, we have to take the elements which are in uh, present in uh, a universal set, but not in A. And these elements are. Because these elements are present in universal set, and the A and B both are the members of uh, elements. Uh, both are the members of the universal set. We have to shade all this part. Now, so it's the B complement. For B complement, this is U, A and B, one, two, three, four, five, six. And for B complement, we take the uh, we have to color these elements, which are present in a uh, universal set, but not in B. And these elements of A are also a member of the universal set. And this is, you can observe that the answer of the B complement is one and two. And we shaded that part. This is one and two. And the answer of A complement is five and six. And it's come in the shaded part five and six. In the next, this is the right hand side, and. We take the complement of A, intersection of A complement, B complement, and this is one, two, three, four, five, and six, and we get uh, we. This is a universal set, and uh, by taking the intersection of it, we have to shade it that part, in which there is nothing. That's why we get the answer, empty set. And now, students, say the question number nine is solved, and I demonstrate it on the Venn diagram. Now, students, question number ten: Let A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H can be names of eight friends. They join a summer camp where they are enrolled in different activities. Following Venn diagrams show a detail. These are the detail. This is a very easy question. We have to write the detail by Uh, observing observing this the Venn diagram. By in part number A, list the member of the following set swimming who are doing swimming, and there are the member four member in the swimming age. 
E, B, and F. And now coding. Encoding is F, C, A, G. A, C, F, G. And in painting, this is a circle of painting and we have to write the members which are in it. Written. B, C, D, and F. Simple. We have to write it. Now, in part number B, write the name of those who are taking painting and swimming both classes, both. Which are in both. Which are in the common part. And these are the B and F. Which are taking the classes. B and F. Which are taking the classes, swimming and painting. Who is taking all these classes? Who is taking, which are common in the three sets. And this is the element F. F. And now students, very simple question. Uh, this exercise is solved. I hope you understand these questions very well. Thank you very much students for watching my videos. Take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.